Hi, friends, up and fabel, lobo, yobo, tubbers. Welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Dole, better known to as the Big D, back again with another ranking celebrating the 50th anniversary of Zoom. Today I'm going to rank the Zoomers of the fifth season. Yes, after being on a high A's from the last year, 70, the 75 to 76 year on PBS, GBH brought back the show back with seven new Zoomers. Four boys and three gals. Now, I will tell you that this is just when it made a big comeback in ways. Now, with, now because the lack of funding after the last season had come to an end, well, that's why Zoom didn't get a chance to return. In 1976, the show was finally back, and with a new sponsor in General Foods Corporation, which, of course, it's now Kraft Heinz to us, joining the other funders of the program, which were PBS stations, the Ford Foundation, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Now, I'm ranking all seven Zoomers, so please no ne don't get all negative or anything. You, we are... We are entitled to our own choices and what have you. But I'm only doing this for entertainment purposes only. If you all understand, I don't want to try and start no negativity with anybody, not even a Zoomer. Okay? Good. Now that that's out of the way, you'll also get a special Ubby Dubby message halfway through this. Well, maybe a little over halfway through. After I do the first four and everything. So, anyway. And that's, of course, when the series kind of got a few changes to its theme song and what have you. And the what and the lines and one of the lines was everybody's number one. And that's true, everybody's number one. All these zoomers are number one. But only one of these here zoomers from this season can be the ultimate number one. So it's back to square one, like I did with the first season. I will rank all zoomers together, okay? So you be the judge on this ranking, okay? Now, first of all, before I get started, if you haven't seen uh, the other Zoomer rankings from seasons 1 through 4, as well as the TV log I did earlier this year, I advise you to click on that card, and that'll take you to the playlist, so you can catch what you might have missed, or see them again if you wish. Now, of course, very soon, I don't know when very soon, I will be starting a brand new channel devoted to Zoom. Now, it won't be like the Zoom... Well, some of those um, YouTube channels that show Zoom and what have you, because they show episodes and what have you, I'm going to just do clips and what have you, just for fun. Okay, that about covers it. All right, now, if you're ready, let's get into this ranking. Sit back, relax, and here we go. Number seven is... Ron. Now, I will say that I do like all of these, these Zoomers and what have you. Again, only one can be the ultimate number one. Now, I'm sorry Ron's at the bottom of the chain. Don't worry, I like him. He's a nice guy, and he's, and what have you. He's a good guy, actually. And, well, he's done a pretty good job when he was on there. And I will tell you that he does one heck of a job at what he did. He Now, one of the things he did was that show that he likes animals and what have you because, well, he did one for a little decal bit that the Zoomers did in the Zoom Do segment where they use, like, maybe st studs and, well, pictures and what have you. You put them on old shirts and what have you. Which I think that was really cool, and I like that. I never could think like that would have been a cool thing to do, but still, that's what Zoom News are for. <laughs> Help you be creative. Try stuff at home if, if you got stuff lying around. That's pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah. Good. So anyway, it proves that Ron's a, he's a, he's a good guy. Here's one of my few favorite moments with Ron. This is him from the intro to the play of the week from episode 502 called BB Bumpers. 
Now he plays this guy who's who's missing his favorite bugle. He's got some pretty cool bugle collections, and well, he gets a detective to help him out. Another fun bit with Ron that I like. This is him along with the Zoomers plus Jennifer, who we'll see where she winds up later on. She played the detective in BB Bumpers. This is him performing I'm in Love with a Big Blue Frog, which was originally done by Pierre, Paul, and Mary. That was a pretty good song. I've heard the original version of this, but this song's pretty good by the Zoomers. <laughs> So anyway, now you know about Ron. Still a good guy. And, well, like I said, he did a pretty good job on what he did with Zoom. I'd say, he, um, again, he's a, he's a good guy. Now this next Zoomer, um, I think some of y'all are going to hate me for having this one higher than Ron. Coming in at number six is... Lavelle. Now, this, of course, is the kid who got fired because there was a little bit of a dispute between his mother and GBH. Because his parents refused to sign his contract to keep him from doing anything else after Zoom. Because if you promise not, well, you have to sign the contract, so you that way you wanted to do, make yourself a big star or anything after you leave Zoom, but... Well, now Lavelle got to be in a few episodes for some parts, and then only a little bit for the rest of the fifth season. I think they should have done a Zoom rap about his departure and then got a new re a replacement, but they didn't. So, I, so anyway, I should say in my book, Lavelle is easily the most underrated Zoomer of them all and what have you. And for good reasons, too. But anyway, now I've seen what this guy can do, and he's, he's fine. I mean, I like his little intro, though. He does a little... Yeah, I guess that kind of proves why he, like, that he likes robots or something like that. <laughs> Which is why he does in that Zoom Dude segment I was telling you about. Anyway, um, Lavelle is... It is cool in some ways, though. Now, here's one moment where Lavelle really shines. And this is him starting off the song There Isn't Time, which is based on a little bit of a of a poem or something like that. And, and well, I'm going to say he has a pretty bit of, of a rare talent. I mean, this is from the early on in the episode. Here's Karen. We'll see where she winds up. And there's Ron... I thought I'd show off the Irish Zoomers. There's Jennifer, Nell, and... Yep. Plus, we got um, Chris and Arcadio. Those are still ahead as well. Anyway, I really will say that Lavelle is a bit underrated in one of you, but he did do some pretty good things and what have you. Uh, now, the Zoomers did do some, some, a lots of good songs. Now, Lavelle did appear on a few other songs before his departure because, because There Isn't Time was the last song he did with the group. Of course, he appeared on How You Do and I Won't Grow Up, which was from Pierre Pan the Musical, and, of course, The Wear Medley from 503, which included the, um, the Singing in the Rain, Here Comes the Sun, and... It's going to ring again. I think that's what it's called. That was the first song. And, of course, Let the Sun Shine In. So, anyway. Lavelle, I think, is really underrated and what have you. I wish he could, they, I wish there could be an agreement between his folks and GBH. But, well, you know what they say. Nobody's perfect. Oh, well. Now, coming in at number five is... Arcadio. Now, now, I think Arcadio's a pretty nice guy. He's pretty cool. I like his little artist intro for, for the actual intro to the series. Really something. He's pretty funny in some, some things that the Zoomers did. And, and what can I say? He's got pretty good talent and... and 
Well, he does have a... Well, I can say that um, his nickname, well, I can't, I can't really pronounce that word. I know it's a Spanish word for angel or something. That's, or so I heard uh, in the first, no, not the first episode, the second episode. That's where they were doing those old t-shirts and what have you. Oops. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Arcayo did some pretty cool things on when he was on Zoom. I mean, he did some things like um, read a funny story called The Pig Who Didn't Like Mud. That was a pretty good one. And, well, what can I say? He did lots of other things. I'll give you a, a little sample of a couple of things. Okay, now here's Arcayo doing a Zoom do on making a coconut cup. Now, I will say that's pretty cool. Well, I may not be much a coconut person, but hey, what he's doing is really something. You got, you have to try something like this. That would be pretty cool. And I think that's a really cool zoom do. Trust me. Now, here's another fun thing with our Kyle. This is him and Chris doing the last play of the week from this season. It was called Cookie Box. And believe me, Arcayo just wants himself a cookie, but Chris is trying to keep it away from him from doing various things after putting it in a box and what have you. But in the end, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you if you have not seen the episode. Just see for yourself. Besides, if I told you the end, it would bore the audience. If you haven't seen the episode yet. <laughs> Well, I won't show you any more, but um, another thing that Arcayo did was he was BB Bumper's gardener, which that was pretty, pretty good and what have you. <laughs> yeah. So now you know that Arcayo's a good guy, and I really do like, I do like him. He's a pretty, pretty nice guy. And coming in at number four is. Jennifer. Now, Jennifer's probably the funniest of this group and what have you. She's she's really funny, and I really do like some of the performance she did. She did um the detective I mentioned, BB Bumpers. I've always shown her in Her with Ryan, I'm in Love with a Big Blue Frog, and all that stuff. And speaking of her and Ryan, I recently did take a picture of my own and what have you, and well, I thought I'd show you it, that this here that I took. Now, if you might recall in the third season, they did a little thing that someone sent to them called If All Things Were One Thing. Now, before the first cast of season three left, they said what they would be like if they were one thing. But we never got to see an actual picture. But that changed in the first season five episode. Now, I got the second version of this one since the first one was pretty good. But the second one was pretty good. Give me a second. Now you see what I mean. If Ryan Jennifer were one thing, what well, a lovely Ryan for that would be. Cute, huh, folks? Now here's a here's a real good thing I, that I like the Jennifer's. Here's a scene of her doing a little story she wrote called Adolescence. This was from the first episode. I gotta say, she did one heck of a job with this little story. Okay, now here's another fun bit with Jennifer. This is her alone with Nell and Karen performing the song Put On A Happy Face. This was taken from episode 508. It's a pretty good song. It came from the musical Bye Bye Birdie, which I haven't seen the movie before. Now, of course, the next season, the season six Zimmers would do a nurse would do a song from this musical called Kids. But anyway, I really loved Put On A Happy Face. This was really good, and I loved it. So anyway, I think Jennifer is really funny. She's absolutely... Wow. She's in her check. I do like her intro a bit. Uh, she, she likes sports. She um, In her intro, she kicks the soccer ball. We hear a whistle and makes a kind of a can crush and sound like what we hear in some of the funny music at the end of... Well, like we hear at the end of some of the skits in my I mean, Jennifer's... Man, that's weird. This face. 
Oh boy. That's the expression on Jennifer's face is absolutely priceless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but look, I'm just playing with y'all. If you Zoomers were watching, relax. I was just playing with y'all, okay? I wasn't trying to me I wasn't trying to bring any, me any harm. <laughs> anyway, Jennifer's really funny. Now some YouTuber actually did um reviews on all the Zoomer intros and boy I wasn't too thrilled with what he said about him. I can't reveal his name, though, so I don't want to get into trouble with him or anything like that. Thank you. So, anyway, Jennifer is just absolutely funny, and she's very energetic in some ways. I really do love her. Yeah. Yeah, I do love Jennifer. She's funny. Okay, enough said. I'll be back with the top, the final three, in just a moment. <laughs> oh, this Zoom ranking will resume after this important message. Habai for folks. Daba yuba noba wabat abam rabe dubbing. Dubbis ab this dubbis abas aban zabum abba bubby dubba bubby. Kabam a bit babuk. Abit. Hubbabs, Lubbots, Above, Stubbuff, Yubbuff, Subbing, Abon, Zaboom, Bubbout, Vubber, Jabuns, Dubba, Clubbass, Subbit, Abend, Dubba, Rubbo, Rubby, Baboot. Yubba wubba habav wubban bit bubbig lubav frabam dubbis sobo gobo tubbo yobo kabam a bit stubbo abend pubbig abub abba kababi I mean kababi sorry I forgot Sometimes you have to put the L before the Y, too. My bad. And now, back to the Season 5 Zoomers ranking. Okay, this is it. Now, it's time for the final three. Now, I am going to include the... Now, unlike the last three rankings, I will include the intros for the final three Zoomers. I'm going to try and get them as best as I can. So, hopefully, I can... We'll hope for the best, okay? So, it's... One guy, two gals. Hope for the best. This will turn out well. Coming in at number three is... Chris. Now, I think he's probably the best of the Zoomer guys. I consider him to be the leader of the group. I will say he has... a lot of um, spirit in way of you. I like his little intro where he's... Jumping over those toy vehicles and what have you. He's, that's what probably makes him a cool dude. He likes dirt bikes and motorcycles and what have you. Yeah. Now, I do know Chris actually has a YouTube, is actually here on YouTube. But I doubt he'll ever, he'll find this video. And if he does, Chris, don't get, just don't get all negative on this. Like I said, I'm only doing this for entertainment purposes only, okay? I hope you understand. <laughs> or at least I hope does. Alright, enough said. Anyway, Chris is really cool, and he's got a lot of energy in my way, so I consider him to be pretty darn energetic and what have you. So anyway... Um, well, it's hard to say, but I really think he's got what it takes to be a true leader for this pack of Zoomers. Here's some of the, here's one of the things I do like about Chris. Give me a second. 
Here's one of the good things about Chris. He does the intro to the Zoom Views and Wears segment, which includes a little something that includes um, in the streets and what have you, and it features a little screen like what they use on the McNeil Lair report. Which, of course, that was, um, well, actually, it was the Robert McNeil report at the time this was shown, before it be came the Robert Mc, the McNeil Lair report, then McNeil Lair News Hour, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the rest, okay? And I think he's really, really a great guy in doing this, and let's see. Hmm. I can say that he is pretty funny, too, in, in various ways. And... And why have you? Now, there, here's some other fun things that Chris did a great job at. Okay, now here's the introduction to this music video. Here's him and Artayo. He'll be joined. He'll be joined by other Zoomers. Of course, Lavelle wasn't in here, nor was Karen, who's still ahead. But anyway, they're doing the cover of the Beatles' other underwater hit. Well, not nah, this wasn't fashionably a hit for them, called Octopus's Garden. Now, of course, if you write, might recall in the third season, the season three Zoomers second casted Yellow Submarine. And both these those two songs were sung by Ringo Starr. I gotta say, the Octopus's Garden video is pretty cool. Okay, now here's Chris in the, the intro to How You Do, which, although that was more recently a song that transitioned Zoom, old Zoomers to new Zoomers, this was just the introduction to the fifth season. I gotta say, and when Ron helps old Chris out with, with the start of the song, and well, showing him how to do this little handshake and how you do, it starts to be a real fun experience. So now you know that Chris is a really cool guy, and I really do like him. He's a nice guy, and, well... I hope whatever he's doing is making him feel even cooler. So, anyway, Chris did a great job with Zoom and what have you. I did like that about him. And all that jazz. <laughs> and coming in at number two is... Take two. And coming in at number two is... <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Take three. And coming in at number two is... Karen. Now, I really do love Karen, what have you. She's probably the most energetic of them all. And I will say that she is really good, especially with the intro. Wow, she just, whoa. I mean, I think her intro kind of beats out even Rose's intro from the third season. But, however, of... Probably people like her. I'd still like Bernadette's intro. But hers probably comes right behind. Her intro beats out Rose's intro. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. Don't worry. I love them all. I love all those intros. Even with some of the pictures. It, it, you know, where he's trying to show up. I don't know. I don't want to be rude on those picture things. Like um, like what they did with Don. Which I love that one. Ron's is fine, too. Just the last one. Well, I'm not going to go negative on that either. Thank you very much. Anyway, even so, I think Karen's really a great Zoomer gal. And I really do love what she brought to us on Zoom in its third season. 
Now, here's a real fun moment with Karen, and she's reading a letter sent to him, and Chris wanted to read it, and well, there goes Chris giving her a silly look. And they're just showing why brothers and sisters fight with each other. Yeah, I will say that's a nerd. That's a real fun moment where Karen shines and what have you. Um, yeah, but even so, uh, Karen proves she's really energetic and what have you. Now, she also did a real cool thing um, when they did the shirts with the decals and what have you. She did a little something with um, a gymnast and what have you because she's a gymnast. And, well, she labeled it with her nickname, The Wiz. Yes, really good and what have you. And I just got to say, Karen is really a super cool gal and... Yeah. But even so, she did lots of great things on there. But that's just probably one of the best I could find. So I humbly apologize if I didn't put it, find any more. So forgive me for that. But anyway, Karen's just a great gal. And, you know, she's really a nice one. Hang on, I can show you something else. Give me a sec. Now here's another scene. Karen really shines with Chris when they're doing singing in the rain. I like that. It's really something. And with Jennifer along and... Yeah. Also real cool. And what's cool is this is another good number. And of course Lavelle joins in while the other three are indoors. They're singing in the rain. Really something, huh? So anyway, now you know like, about Karen. She's just so energetic, and I really love that about her. She's really good. And finally, number one, my number one favorite Zoomer of Season 5 is... Take two. My number one and my number one favorite Zoomer of season five is. Uh, no. Nell. Yeah, I love Nell. She is absolutely adorable. She ranks up there with other adorable Zoomer gals like Edith and. And Nancy, Andre, uh, um, oh yeah, and don't forget Mara. I think Nell is just exceptionally really good. Now, my um, young YouTuber friend, Mystic Maddie, did a tribute. Only, only Zoomer of Season 5 she's actually done a tribute for. And well, with her, with her, with what she said about her, excuse me, I'm trying to get my tablet back in because that's how I'm doing this. I'm glad I'm not going to mess up on this. So anyway, well, according to to um, Miss May, with her cute looks and, well, her adorableness, she is definitely like a ray of sunshine. And I agree. I couldn't have said it better myself. And I love that about Nell. She's just so cute. She's super sweet. Just like, well, gals I've said who are super sweet, like um, Lori or... <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. <laughs> or, heck, even Kate and, and Tracy. And I do mean Tracy from the previous season. So Nell is just exceptionally very... Cute and adorable, especially with her long hair and what have you. Here's one of my favorite moments with Nell. This is an Abby Dubby bubblegum bit from episode 507. Oh boy, she's so gosh darn cute and what have you. Really, some she's really funny.
Yep, I gotta say, that is really, really funny, uh, and what have you. I gotta say, that is one of Nell's funniest bits, and what have you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Here's Nell and several of the other Zoomers leaning away into that outrageous song, Food, Glorious Food. It was also from the same episode, 507, and this I didn't know that this song came from Oliver. I haven't seen that movie. I know it's a great musical and what have you. I definitely gotta look into that someday. Oliver is supposed to be pretty good. But anyway, this is just absolutely crazy and what have you, you know. Okay, now here's another bit. Of course, we see Nell along with Ron and Jennifer as they talk with a Zoom guest in episode 506. It's this dwarf girl named Jenny Brown joins them in a Zoom views and wear t chat about shy people and what have you. Jenny Brown is actually my favorite Zoom guest of this season, as a matter of fact. And I will say that I really like her. And, well, this is another bit where Nell does a pretty good job, especially chatting with the other Zoomers and what have you. Because I've read that Nell's actually a talkative person, you know. So now you know that Nell is my favorite Season 5 Zoomer. She's my favorite gal of this group and my favorite Zoomer overall of this group. Now, before I end this video, here's a couple picks I failed to give to you just now. Remember the Ron for I showed you earlier? Here's two more picks I took, which were absolutely really funny. Now, here's a shot I got with, we see it, Karen and Chris were one thing, and that would be, wild, wow, lovely Karen's that would be. <laughs> That's funny. And here's what it would be like if Nell and Karen were one thing. Well, lovely Nell and that would be. <laughs> you got to admit that's cute, you know. Don't worry. Don't let these pics creep you out. They're just split screen. Done with a split screen and nothing else, you know. <laughs> so now you know my favorite, who's my favorite Zoomer of them all, and how I rank them, but again, no negativity or anything, okay? Or else I'm going to have to, well, not say anything, because I don't want to be rude to anybody or even to the Zoomers, even if there were some on here. And Chris is the only one I know who's on here, as a matter of fact. So if he sees this, just please don't get bothered by this, okay? I'm doing this for entertainment purposes only. Okay, that's it for this video. So who's your favorite... Zoom, who's your favorite Zoomer of this season? You don't have to rank them. Just give me your favorite. You can give me your favorite, whether if it's a guy or a gal, or you can tell me who's your favorite Zoomer guy or gal for this season. That would be the that would be fine, too. You can tell me in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned. There'll be... I'll have another video come out soon. There's lots more to come. As well, next time I will be talking about the underrated A's fa musical family dramedy Rags to Riches. Thank you for watching. And if you like this, check out these things I did for other PBS programs. The upper left hand corner is the TV log I did for the Electric Company. The upper right hand corner is the Wide World of Game Shows episode of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. And the bomb. Left hand corner is the TV log I did for Sesame Street. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.